Vanessa with Patchworks Farm here and today I am going to demonstrate what our current water pressure is like. We get about one gallon a minute as it is with the little pump we have in our well and this is how I get water down to my house. It takes about five minutes to fill up one of my five gallon jugs but we have just invested in a new well pump and it just works off of the sun and Mike's already got it all set up over there and it is working. So let's go over and look at that. Wow. <laughs> we got real water pressure. And that's on low? That is now on high? Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> so we're back today uh, we had to take care of a few things before we actually did a test run with the new pump we actually had to finish installing it so <laughs> here we are we're going to go on a test run now mike's going to hit the switch and we're going to see how long it takes to fill up two five gallon buckets got a stopwatch going we got a stopwatch going and Second, it's a slow yep. start. Just takes a second to get started because it's a slow start. It's coming. Wait for it. <laughs> Here it comes. I can feel it. There it goes. And start. <laughs> And this is on medium pressure? Half. Half pressure. This isn't even all the way up. It can go, it'll go twice this. And we don't even have full sun. It's just partial sun right now. This system has no batteries. You can add batteries to it, but it does not re actually require them. Maybe we can do a test at half pressure and then a test at full pressure. We're going to test this first bucket at half pressure and then the second one we'll do at full pressure and we'll see how long each of them take. It's almost full. Three quarters. A little more. This is exciting. And it's full. One minute and 29 seconds. One minute. Five gallons. One minute, 29 seconds for five gallons. Show them the clock. <laughs> Hopefully they can see that. Yep. Okay, we're gonna reset. Okay, we're gonna reset, and now we're gonna do the other bucket at full pressure and see what we get. Here we go. We're gonna do full pressure this time and see how long it takes to fill up this second five gallon bucket. Oh, there it is. Start. Look at that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Usually when I come to fill my five gallon jugs up, it takes me, you know, 20, 30 minutes to come up here and do this. 
This is a game changer in my life. This is exciting. <laughs> We're over halfway already. Our three quarters. It's almost done. Here it comes. <laughs> and stop. Fifty-three seconds. Fifty-three seconds. Yes! <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> All right, so something happened, and I changed the stop watch, but it looks different than the other one, but it shows the time. 53.31 <laughs> seconds. Five Fantastic. Gallons. All right, well, good morning, everybody. Michael here with Patchworks Farm. Uh, I'm the installer. So <laughs> uh, Melissa asked me to go over and explain this to you a little bit. She really wanted to video the installation process. It was super simple. If I can do it, anybody can. Um, there's plenty of videos on the RPS solar site uh, to um, learn how to do this. It was really easy. They basically guarantee you water on your land. They got a 100% success rate according to their website. As uh, you can see for us, we have 100% success. So I'm really happy. Uh, our last well did a one gallon a minute in full sun with a battery attached so solar and battery and it was just it was it was good to have here because it gave us water but it was a time consuming task especially in you know rain and and when we were in a hurry and things we we just it was cumbersome so we invested in a new solar well pump through rps which stands for rural power systems they got some amazing pumps this is the 400 v which is a high volume centrifugal pump um, all of their pumps are serviceable on site they're specifically meant for people like us that live out in the rural area you don't really have access to having people come out and work on your wells right away um, or install things and so they're just man if I, if the pump breaks i can pull it out of the ground and repair it right here on site and uh, so that's pretty cool. So it has its 400 watt system. The difference between the 400V and the 800V is four solar panels, which is why I sold uh, I was sold on this one because the other pumps required another pump, another controller, and additional solar panels. This one, the only thing I have to do if I want to get uh, double volume is add four more solar panels, which I've got another pull on the ground there. Uh, the system was the solar system was really easy to set up everything pretty much plug and play uh, they send everything to you except for that pole and the ground rod everything else comes with it uh, to get water pumping immediately it took me about eight hours but that was with doing other tasks on the farm running here running there doing other things i started at 10 o'clock yesterday morning uh, finished up at about um, six o'clock last night uh, and then just had to get a couple of adapters so that, you know, we had a spigot, but uh, that was this morning's task, but uh, it was pumping water. I did uh, also uh, sanitize, so. Look at the pressure grow with the more sun coming out. That sun, thing yeah. just kicked up. Yeah, it kicks up. The more sun you get, we're, we're kind of overcast today, clouds in and out. So the more sun it picks up, it is an MPPT uh, charge controller so it's making full use of the sun as it gets it I know MPPT so solar charge controllers use uh, maximum amount of sun they're more efficient uh, so that's why you'll see this thing as the clouds come by and then the sun comes out full you'll see the pressure build in that so it set at 10 gallons a minute right now which it's not putting out because we have some cloud cover uh, but it is putting out um, about six and a half gallons a minute right now which when we were only getting a, mallet, uh, a gallon a minute is uh, phenomenal. So go in a little bit closer, you can take a look at it. There's four 100 watt solar panels there. Sorry for the sound of the water in the background, but like I said, I sanitized it. I had to put some bleach water down on the well because of changing the pump out. So I've got to get all the bleach out of the well um, so that we can use the drinking water. So this is the charge controller. Everything is real easy. They sent the wires and everything. 
And so everything's just, this is where the uh, solar panels come in. This is going down to the pump. And then this is a low water, low well water pump or uh, shut off. So there is a valve down in there or a, a sensor down in there that if the water level gets uh, to a foot above the pump, it'll shut the pump off so it doesn't burn the pump out, which is really cool. It's got another one also that when we get a tank in here, we can put in the tank and it'll shut off when the tank's full or you can hook a pressure sensor up to it on a pressure tank, which is what we'll probably start with, uh, get a pressure tank in here and then eventually put a, a large holding tank. Uh, we just got it ran. Sorry, we've got it buried right now because the animals are really interested in the wires and I don't want them chewing them up before I get it buried. <laughs> so you can see how it yeah. slowed down when the clouds came over. But it's really cool that it actually does pump with clouds. So the only time it stopped pumping was last night when the uh, sun, even though it was cloudy yesterday, it still pumped until the sun actually was behind the trees and it wouldn't get enough power then. But up until about uh, five o'clock last night, it was it was able to pump. And so we can get six to eight hours worth of sunlight uh, with all this tree cover. Oh, let's see what else. Um, so the rail system, um, this is actually, so I've got it marked for summer and winter. So these are my angles for our latitude. We're about 35 degrees latitude. And so it called for 11 degrees in the summer and 49.6 in the winter. So I went ahead and marked those with a Sharpie. So I can just tilt my angle there for when the sun drops in the south. So the south, the, the, um, the uh, panels run north and south, due south, not a magnetic south. And then uh, that picks up the, the tracking of the sun from east to west, cool sun. Goes down into the ground here. Wires go down into the casing. So they even set the stainless steel pump head, which I'll uh, get that tightened down. I don't have it tightened down yet because we've been working on it and everything. The only thing I really did was put the spigot on the end. That's, that's what I did. And I can trim my wires after I get it all bleached. I got additional wires, so they give you plenty of wire. I think it came with uh, about 100 feet of wire. So, I mean, I'm only 60 feet down, so I got plenty of wire. Our static water level's at 28 feet. Our well is 185 feet. So they recommended 20 to 30 feet below the static water level. So I'm down at about 60 feet of depth right now, which is about 30 feet below our static water level. You can see it slowed down again because we got thick cloud cover coming. And then we had our buddy, John. You've probably seen him in an earlier video or actually a couple of earlier videos. John comes in and uh, helps us with a lot of stuff. He's one of my best friends. Uh, he helped us get our, our uh, high tunnel here. He helped us put up our high tunnel. He's come help us drill holes for our orchard. Uh, so you've probably seen John in a lot of videos. But yesterday John was here. He had a ditch which that he rented for his property. And since he had it, he said he would come out and trench our line for us all the way across the property. So we've got about a thousand feet of trench line here. So we can get water all the way down to the high tunnel, all the way, because we have a building site down there for our actual house uh, that we're going to build in a couple of years. So we can get water to our house. We've already got water line run through our cabin and we can get it to the high tunnel all the way to the top gate at the top of the 10 acres. Um, so we'll be able to put water stations along here for the animals. Uh, that cost me $150, so I have no complaints at all. Uh, John's an amazing man. Uh, he does a lot for us here, so I'd like to publicly thank him. Other than that, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, this is the 400V. It's a high volume centrifugal pump. Again, in order for it to be, uh, it'll do 2,500 gallons a day. Um, and if I put four more solar panels on here, it goes up to about... Uh, just under 5,000 gallons a day, so almost double capacity. Other than that, thanks for watching. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and um, God bless. Have a wonderful day.